basically did all sorts of things to number one learn about what's going on in State Road and to try to feel the uh, the pain and the suffering of a lot of the uh, citizens and people who live there and also to try to do something to help uh, such as we we went to schools earlier this morning and um, we, we played games with the kids and gave out candy and the kids kids love candy so that really made them happy. I think they like the games too. I think that they like the games also, surprisingly. But the candy really, that sealed the deal. So um, that was, I mean, it, it, was a, it was a good feeling. We also painted a bunker, um, Miklat, which, uh, which we felt did something. So even if, we don't know if it does, but like, at least it gave us We'd like to think so. We'd like to think that painting bunkers helped, helped it to a certain extent. Some of us disagreed with the color choice, but you know, what can you do? And um, basically, we, we just tried to feel feel what was going on and tried to do something about the uh, what's going on in stereo. Okay, Tiboyim. Okay, Tiboyim. Which one? Lemata. 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 I'm Deva Froelich. I learn at Shalavim for Women in Yerushalayim, also. And we are currently here for our Shana Be'aretz. Loving it, right? Right now we're in Kibbutz Sad, and it's a kibbutz right near Steyrot. We just spent two days in Steyrot. And we came to visit Yehudit Lechtenstein, who's a bachelorette here for the year. And we came to Amish Pachton, which is a place where kids who have been taken away from their families, they live there. And um, they came... We came to play with them and hang out with them. There, they took us on a little lovely tour through the cactuses, and we got to see they make they process carrots here, and they clean them, and they make the carrots here, and they grow them. And they also have a milk factory, so we got to see the cows with their numbers. They wanted to show us everything. They were so happy they were here. They were like, "Come on, come on, come on, you guys!" They were trying out their English. They're having a great time. Grab Antberg, lifting weight. Yeah, I, uh, my goal was not only to make a movie, but also have some exercise. Yeah! You want to eat Is it on? Yes. Hi, Rabbi Blau. Hi, Rabbi Blau. I want you to know what you Hi, Rabbi Blau. We miss you so, so much. Miss you. Miss you. Dear Rabbi Blau. Hi, Rabbi Blau. We are now walking in Sarah. Hi, Rabbi Blau. Life in Sarah is normal anywhere else. Normal falafel store. Normal roads and houses. Normal people. Actually, that's debatable. I don't know how normal this group is. Salam! Salam! Hi, Wait, what's Pam? What's Pam? Where is the Mizrahi? Have they by America? I'm from America. The Cleveland! Cleveland! Oh. Cleveland! <laughs> Likot cigaria lifnei mata Ani shomer umu azin shar Hello Cleveland! I am Yaakov Hecht. Two years ago I was a senior, see? Three years ago I was a senior in Mizrahi school. I was originally going to go into the army as a fighter, at least that's what I thought. And then they told me I couldn't be a regular fighter because I have bad eyesight. I have 
basically they explain our job is you're going into this fighting unit, and most of these units didn't even have someone, uh, what's called a mashakta, a religious officer, in their unit beforehand. So you're really creating a job. So you're really the rabbi in every base, although we're not really trained to be rabbi, we're not really rabbis. People came up to me a lot with, you know, different halacha questions, the stuff that I a lot of times didn't know. I had to ask my, uh, you know, rabbis, you know, that I know from the yeshiva or rabbis that I know from the army to answer. But you're really the rabbi on the base because there's no other rabbi there. So all day I would walk around and just and just see soldiers and just talk to them and, you know, help them. And then they get to know me and then become friends with me. And that, and that would have some kind of connection. And then after you have a connection, you can ask them, what does Tanakh mean to you? You know, someone's on guard duty for four hours. He's bored anyway, so he's going to listen. So he says, hmm, what is Tanakh to me? And then he starts thinking, maybe, what does it mean to me? How does what happened in his, Jewish history years and years ago matter to me right now? I asked them, do you think that the love of Israel has anything to do with religion? Can you be too and without being religious? What's the connection between religion? Do you think this means that, that Mashiach is going to come? Just start thinking about it. Like You don't have to believe it, but think about it. Because I told them a lot of people, you don't believe, a lot of people tell me, I don't know, it's not for me. I told them, look, I understand if you don't want to believe, but at least learn. You know, if you understand and then don't believe, so like, fine, you know, at least you learned. But you know, if you, if you don't, don't even know anything, you know, kind of ignorant, so learn a little bit and then figure it out. Like, Hi, I'm Levi Froelich. I was formerly from, from, from Cleveland. I'm now uh, serving the IDF. Hi, I'm Micah Stein from Cleveland, Mizrahi 06, rock that. So we're on vacation this week, a much needed break after four months of training. The most surprising part of training in the army was was the mental aspect. I think we all expected it to be physically difficult, but just the lack of sleep and the con you're constantly under pressure and doing things and learning. And it was really it was a big mental challenge. But I really want to thank the the Cleveland community. Your donations and your support really really helped us through. That was really a it was a great help. I think uh, I mean, one one of the you know greatest challenges for a uh, for an American in the army is you know um especially because his family you know isn't here uh, and also with the you know the whole culture and, and the hebrew difficulties however um the fact that both micah and i went in together with a couple other americans definitely helped us you know acclimate to the uh, to the army and to the and to the whole ex and the whole ex made the whole experience much smoother uh when i get out of the army i'm coming back to cleveland I get to see my hometown visit Mizrahi maybe uh it'll good, it's good to be back home i'll tell you that i hope so uh, when I uh, finish the army, so hopefully I will um, also go back to America, and then God willing, work at Camp Stone, and then come the next year, come back to Learning Gush for another year. Shalom Cleveland, it's Rafi Engelhardt, talking to you here from uh, Tel Arad, the Nachal Army Base. It's a uh, beautiful army base right in the middle of the desert. Some grass over there, nor sand over there. Uh, the city of Arad is all the way over there in the background. Um, first of all, I wanted to say thank you for all the wonderful letters you guys wrote me for Purim. Really uh, gave me uh, more uh, energy and motivation. Really, uh, it's nice to know there's an entire community out there behind you when you're coming and working for Am Yisrael. And um, I just want to say thank you. And if you, if you can continue that, that'd be great. And also, Tfilot. Uh, Tfilot are really a great thing to have more kavanah when you say the for for Chalei Tzal. That would also be greatly appreciated. Give us a little bit. Yeah, I mean, uh, basically what you see, these two first buildings over here, is um, those are the classrooms that we have a lot of Shirim in. Uh, Shirim and how to use the gun, fire a gun, clean the gun everything of that sort. Uh, if you look a little bit behind that, you can see at least a little bit to the left over here, you see tents. That's where, that's where I sleep. I, actually, the tent I sleep is covered by one of the buildings, but um, whatever, it's there. Um, in the meantime, I hope you guys are enjoying yourselves there, and I hope to see you guys soon, here. Uh, I'll see you guys later. Bye. Shalom. 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 Shalom, Cleveland. This, this is Renat and <laughs> <laughs> again, again, Josh. <laughs>
Shout out Cleveland. This, this is Renat and Nila from Tel Aviv. Not Cleveland. A bit different. As you can see. Stop, stop. We miss okay. you guys. We don't understand what's taking you so long to come. Yala, mechakin chempo. Everybody should make a and come here. We miss to... you guys just yeah. way too much. And the cle and the weather there is terrible. Not even Dayan Oshim. Oshim Sham. Yala. Yama Tzmo Tzameach. Chai Tzameach. Salala. So, in case you guys don't remember exactly who we are, I'm Rina Katz. And I'm Ilak Fear. Um, this Fear. year, we're not not sure anymore. We are both studying hard, Tel Aviv University, and... Psychometry! Yes. Um, Psychometry, it's a very hard, it's like it's a It's a terrible test. <laughs> yeah, you don't want to take it. It's a it. terrible test. And really hope to see you here soon. And... Um, Come visit us. Yeah. We miss you guys. Shalom. Bye.